Hey guys, I am Titanium, and welcome to the Iron Man VR demo. I know this came out a couple weeks ago, but I still did want to play it. And hence, it having coming out a couple weeks ago, I did play it when it first came out. So this is not going to be my first reaction. But I figured I didn't want to play it for you guys, especially how much I enjoy it. Just see me entertaining myself with the floor. And it is really fun, and I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what you are all going to be seeing when I do a series on the game when it comes out on July 4th. Yeah, July 4th. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so we're going to start off with the demo, then I'm going to be playing the flight course, then I'm going to be playing the combat challenge. So, let's get straight into the normal demo. Uh, this is just like the tutorial, sort of. So it's gonna be. It teaches you like the flight mechanics, the shooting, um, another combat mechanic, and it also gives you like the, f the like the first story mission for once you actually for the actual game. All right, and we're loading in. This is going to be so cool. Like, I know this isn't going to be my first reaction, but this is still, especially just this beginning scene. Just your, it shows you're in the Iron Man helmet. The HUD slowly comes up, and then it just reveals. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, like, you, you, you actually have arms. You, you see, like, I don't know how much you guys can see, because PlayStation VR records weird what anyway I was saying since PlayStation VR records weird you can't see like the bottom part of the screen but there you see you're like actually fully in the suit got everything and now okay Mark three test we fly starting with maneuvering thrusters so you That's maneuver by pressing the triggers on the PlayStation move controllers <laughs> good. Feels good. And you right. maneuver. Time to open her up. That's like an actual way of how I'm twisting it. And that's how you maneuver with the thrusters. Fly around. Make you dip close to the water. And fly back up. God. This is so this is so cool. I can't wait till the actual full game comes out and I get to play it. Can we make it through the cave? Sort of. It does kind of have like a correction type thing. Opening targeting suite. Repulsors yeah. ready. Hands so up. now you can see palms forward. palms forward. I have the two repulsors in each Both. palm. Now see. And you press the, if you have a PlayStation Move controller, and it does have like a targeting system, so you don't have to point directly at it, as you can see. The little like target comes up. So you can find like down here. And then you turn using, on the you controllers, you turn down. using Pepper, square on the left. I'm serious, you in this armor. Do I and need to stage an triangle on the right. Only if I start wearing it to bed. Where are you anyway? Look out the window. Oh, hi, handsome. Looks like you made some upgrades. Like I said, this is Three just pretty much the tutorial, go. so it's teaching you everything. Well, it teaches you some stuff. Two more targets left. There's a little bit that it saves for the combat challenge that I won't reveal quite yet. One more. Right. And then there is. That's how it's done. What's next? Time trial. Mind if I watch? Oh, you know I work better with an audience. And the banter between Pepper and Tony is so good. Let's start with boost. 
Alright, yep, so it comes back, and then you gotta double tap the triggers that you normally use to fly. That was wild. Pretty accurate reaction that I first had. And then I swapped the DC motor for a solar power converter and applied quarter inch magnetic articulation seals to the boot thrusters. You can reduce my drag coefficient by 10, maybe 10.5%. You can just flew into a wall. Okay, should I be writing this down? Yeah, this no, section kind of teaches no, you how to fly trap. and shoot okay. on the move. When's my birthday? Uh, sorry, Pepper, you're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. No, that one's within the normal range. For me, anyway. I love the banter between them. All right, then this section is where it teaches chance. you a new skill. So hold either on the left, on the left move controller, you hold circle, and on the right, you hold X to do a punch. Time to throw a punch. Knock it. <laughs> just like Happy Hogan talk. And it's pretty, it's pretty useful because it brings you just straight towards the enemy. Bullseye. They're straight. In this case, the target. Nice. And it's cool that you have to actually throw like an actual punch. Well, at least like the well, you don't have to throw an actual punch, but Time you to punch out. have to make like the motion. And you can also do both at once. Well done, like that. Tony. Did you get what you needed, or are you gonna go again? Okay, how the heck did you get 38.29? Do we need boosting like the entire time? Maybe later, after I noodle on it some more. Sounds great. Meet me back here when you're ready. And then finish off the tutorial. Just fly back up here to the mansion. Oh, no, I did not want. I did not mean to boost. Mess that up. The there ego we go. has landed. It'd be cool if right here there was a whole like desuiting scene. That would that would have been really cool. Just have it slowly like take all your armor off and then fade out. I think that would have been really cool. But now it goes straight in to the first mission of the main game. Years later. You see, I am, you are Tony Stark. Like it, this game puts an emphasis on you are Tony Stark. Strange. You can open the suitcase. And there's the suit. And just take the helmet, just put it on. Yeah, well, hello there, Friday. Morning, sir. May I get you something? Friday, have you seen Pepper? I believe she's putting out a fire. Did I start it? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a uh, stir. Yes. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he could actually put your hands on the table. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's going to thank me. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> That's one of my favorite. I'm your assistant, thing. Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. Well, you're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? I should. I'm gonna. Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right. Tony! But here's the thing I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk, and you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was gonna ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them, that's not the point. That's so many parking The company tickets. turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world. And I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? Yes, I would like me. You dropped my coffee, Pepper. Friday, who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. That Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. 
Someone has taken us over. Remotely. The Out there! The heck is that? It's a Stark drone! A combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Fun. Hello, Stark. Oh, it's you found a tablet. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. Tony, look! Okay, can't hey, get my suit out. Oh boy. Time to die. I'd rather not, thank you very much. I love, the, I love the banter Pepper, between the characters. Just come back in one piece. That's the plan. And out of the plane we jump. This is what this is, scene coming up is one of my favorite scenes from the demo. You're still wearing clothes. Ooh. This, this scene. Oh, I love this scene. It's like you're it's an actual like you're like actually Let shooting up. up scene is so cool that's easily like my favorite scene from the from the demo I remember the first time I played through that scene and went through it I would it, I was like actually giddy because when my favorite character like my favorite character from Marvel is Iron Man Coming up scene is always so cool. So, All systems how about we rescue Pepper now? In time. I got a plane to catch. You cannot blame your past, Stark. We'll see about that. Pepper, can Chapter you hear one. Out of the blue. Yeah, I hear you. Sir, we have a massive breach in the hull. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. Engine fire that needs your attention. <laughs> A secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. There we go. Fire suppression system online. How about we just put this out? I don't see how this is gonna start the engine That's back up, but I'm no pilot. With. Good job, sir. Sir, the autopilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into a populated area. I'll deal with the autopilot. Pepper? No, stay put. It's too dangerous. Says the guy who jumped out of the plane. Any more from our mystery guest? They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. Show them in. Bolter. Okay. Thing about the punch thing, you do actually have to be relatively close to do it. Where are they? And if you do fire too often, your repulsors can't overheat as you just saw. Messing with my HUD. 
They've also locked me out of the jet's diagnostics. I have no I keep accidentally using the boost because I'll be like I trying to adjust. Copy. Enemies inbound. Pepper. Pepper, come in. Pepper, you okay in there? During this, you can actually fly for the most part with just one hand, which is good. So that you can use one hand to shoot one to fire. It's surprisingly hard to be accurate. City Council will be pleased to know that. Uh, guys, I can't steer. Sir, the aileron on the left side has been damaged. Is that fixable? I'll have to wing it. I see your pun. No, I didn't want to boost. I was trying to adjust. Grab. Yeah. There we go. That looks better. I've located an airstrip for emergency landing. Thanks, Friday. Pepper, you think you can land this bird? Only one way to find out. Lowering the landing gear. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. HUD. No, please don't freak out. I didn't mention that. By completing the demo. Which I highly recommend you do. Oh yeah. Um, you actually get a... When the game comes out, you actually do get like a special suit. I think it's like a molt... I forget exactly what it is, but I think it's like a molten suit or whatever. It's all yours, Pepper. Gear is down. Which I think will look really cool. Well done, both of you. If no one has any further right. objections, I say we call it there. Um. Your old weapons will be the death of you. Sir, I'm detecting a new energy signature. More enemies? Good. Trigger fingers getting itchy. Yeah! Okay, there's two of them. So for these guys. The, okay, the only thing I don't really like about the punch is that Armor damage increasing, sir. to already be like having to have it charged up before you can actually. Below critical threshold. I really should have tried to dodge that more there. I'm sensing our hacker friend has returned. Um. Friday? I've lost jets. Friday? All systems are down. The big one's back. My controls are locked. Ooh. Pepper! There's some. It's vanished from radar. High grade cooking place. That. Get me back online. Systems restored. Hmm. Tony, nothing's responding here. Got to catch up Sir, to the plane before it crashes. Pepper, find an exit. Right. <coughs> the fire in front of the cabin. <coughs> I'm trapped. <coughs> Miss Potts, there's a panel beneath your feet, a compartment. It leads to the nose landing gear. Dodge the debris. Climbing down now. I'll meet you under the jet. Boost. I said to boost. Now. And almost there. Pepper, take my hand. Tony. 
Hello there, Pepper. Welcome to your connecting flight. You said it's not gonna. Oh, it just exploded. Well done. I was gonna say it didn't crash Next in. Next time, I want Crimson my own. Where was it going to? Ah. Little do you know, Pepper. Yeah. That is the demo, like the actual story part of the demo, done. And okay, and I was wrong. It comes out on the third, not the fourth of July. But now we're going to do the combat challenge and the flight challenge. Start off with the flight challenge. I think my previous record on this was around a minute forty-four, if I remember correctly. So it's not too long. Yes. I'm trying to like steeple the fingers. It's not working. Alright. Finally loaded. Something is cool, but it's just kind of like the same animation over and over again. I will admit. But. Initiating home front flight test. Good luck, sir. Right, so we got to get through 46 waypoints. I'm gonna try to beat my previous record. Which I think just requires boosting a lot. Especially on like straightaways like this. Boost. This is more user error than the actual game, but sometimes it doesn't boost when I want it to boost, even when I double click. And sometimes you're just trying to maneuver, and I'm like tapping to be more exact. Okay. If you miss it, there is a time. If you miss a target, there is a time penalty. So we do not want to miss any. I'm actually not sure how long the time penalty is. Time. Okay. I beat it. Performance, Sweet. Sir. Would you like to try it once more? How do you do that in a minute 19? Just literally boosting the entire time. That's got to be the only way to do that. All right. But next up, we're gonna do the combat challenge. This one is this one is also pretty fun, but it also introduces you to a few different new mechanics that are very cool. But mechanics, I mean weapons. All right, we're in. Reloading Gunsmith's Malibu time trial. What? Good luck, sir. Oh, it's not going to teach you it. It initially teaches you that you have, by tilting down your wrist, you have little like micro missiles which you can fire out, like, like that. But they do need time to reload. And also you might notice a new gauge up in the top right hand corner. Which says the Unibeam. Which is exactly what it says it is. It's your Unibeam. So it's basically just a, a hyper powerful beam attack. You can charge up. Well done, sir. I'm very high up. I should... I need to go back down. Tracking a skull on radar. And it actually introduces you. Okay, so what I just did that boosts the power of the uh, weapons.
basically just makes you do more damage. That punch thing can be very useful. Okay. You think? You day damn. Good job. Well, more like exploded them to bits, but yes, that also works Friday. We're not in the clear yet. Power boosted. That is so cool. Okay, so for this, since I have played through before. Ah. I think you can file up to like up to like ten missiles at once, I'm not entirely sure. I did not want And then there were So we got two more waves. For the to use the Unibeam. Revenant inbound, sir. So the Revenant. Where is it? The Revenant is that thing. But, there's a really nice way to get around this wave. Just, you just charge up the Unibeam. And that's a really good way to just clear out a large group of enemies all at once. There's revenants though. Are hard to kill because as those revenants are hard to kill because you can only since they have that shielding, you can only shoot at them while they're firing at you. No, how much can you not do that to me, please? While well, I'm trying to speak, I'm trying to speak to the audience. Those missiles are so cool to use. in one minute. So I basically need to kill him in one minute. You can see how much... Just how much health he has. Lost track of where it was. Come on. Uh, I, I shoot. I forgot. There's one more. No. Only five seconds left. That was close. But yeah. That is the Iron Man VR demo. That's everything you can do. It's got the story demo, the combat challenge, the flight challenge. And I just gotta say, this is hands down one of the coolest VR games I've ever played. Just gonna put that out there. I may be biased because I'm a big Marvel fan. But this is one of definitely one of the coolest games I've ever played in VR, that is. And I cannot wait for it to come out. And I will definitely be doing a series on the channel when it does. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. 
If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe down below, and I shall see you all next time.